Good morning, class. Today is Wednesday, the 23rd. We're on lesson 15. It's page 93. Today we're going to use the multiplication table to find the product of two numbers. And product is just the answer. So for multiplication, you got factor, and factor equals the product. Just like in addition, you added it, added, added equals the sum. We got factor, factor equals the product. We're also going to talk about three different properties of multiplication. The commutative property is the same as addition. Flip it over, you get the same answer. The zero property is any number times zero is zero. And the identity property is any number times one you see yourself, like in a mirror. Nine times one is nine. Ten times one is ten. All right, in our examples today, we are going to put those properties rather than the examples from the book. All right, so flip your power-ups over, divide into fourths. In the first one, you can write down commutative property. Commutative property. The commutative property says that you can take 6 times 3 and make it 3 times 6, and you're still going to get the same answer. 6 times 3, 3 times 6, same answer. You know what's coming in a little bit. We're going to have fact and fact and gives facts for multiplication and division. And it's just a commutative property. We can flip it over. Okay, so that goes in your first box. Commutative property, 6 times 3 equals 18, 3 times 6. And that works with any of them. You could take 2 times 3 and you get 6 and 3 times 2, and you get 6. All right, here's the next one. It's a zero property. And that just says any number, 5, times 0 equals 0. 5 groups of 0. I have 0 deaths in a row, and I have 5 groups of those 0 deaths, and I have how many deaths in my classroom? 0. 5 groups of 0 is 0, or 0 groups of 9 is still 0. There's nine oranges in a basket, but I have zero baskets. So I have zero oranges. So any number times zero is zero. Any number times zero is zero. One million four hundred forty-two thousand times zero is zero. All right, the identity property, this is the one like you look in the mirror. You're a number, you take yourself times one, you look in the mirror, you see yourself. Any number times one is itself. Any number times one is itself. 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 10 is 10, 1 times 11 is 11, 1 times 12 is 12, 1 times 1 million is 1 million. Any number times 1 is itself. Okay, the last thing that we were supposed to do today is we were supposed to take and make a multiplication table. Now guys, I don't want you to do this, but I'm going to do it. You can watch and follow along and add to mine. Why don't I want you to do this? Because we got the biggest multiplication table ever right here on page 5 in your resource folder. And so you can pull your resource folder out and look at that to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. When to make a multiplication table, you put the numbers you want across the top and down the side. Now I ran out of room out of 10. Your multiplication table goes all the way to 20. It's twice as big as mine. But what we do is we take the top number times the side number and get the answer. So 1 times 1 is 1. Now say I do 4 times 5. And 4 times 5 will give me 20. And so you're going to have to be able to do this, 6 and 7. Say you have a problem, 6 and 7. Take out your multiplication table and go across and go straight down. You can't go to curve. No, straight down, straight across, and you get 42. Well, well, your multiplication table has all those filled in for you. I'm about to do that for you. Let's do it quick. 1 times any number is a cell. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 6 is 6. If you say it with me, you're going to learn them faster. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 9 is 9. And 1 times 10 is 10. 1 times any number is itself. Let's take 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. Notice we're doing the even numbers. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Whew. Let's go. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is, hopefully you're on your multiplication table if you need help, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3, if you follow those down, is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 6, 18. 3 times 7, 21. 24, 27, 30. It's kind of cool if you're watching across the bottom. 10, 20, 30, 40. 
50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and the last one's going to be 100. 10 times 1 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Going back across this way, 1 times 1, 1 times 2, 1 times 3, 1 times 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're really filling it in now. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 9 is 36. The 5s are the most fun. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50. I'm going to do the fives this way. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 6 is going down. Count by 6. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3, 18. 6 times 4, 24. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 7, 42. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 9 is 54. Now on your chart in here, 6 times 4 is written wrong in one place. You see how I fixed it there? They had it as 55. They must have just had a typo. It's 54. 6 times 9 is 54. 7 times 2, 14. 7 times 3, 21. 28, 35, 42. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 56. And 7 times 9 is 63. 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 5 is 32. 8, 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 10 is 80. 9 times 2 is 18, 3 is 27, times 4 is 36, is 45, 54, 63, 72, 9 times 9 is 81. Everybody's eating in the cafeteria? I'll be there in another minute. Thanks, honey. Appreciate it. It's time for lunch for me. i got to go. Just kidding. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of our example problems now that we have this multiplication table made. Lesson practice A says 4 times 5, and you notice how they wrote it there. They wrote the 4 up here and the 5 here. What you're going to use your multiplication table is you're going to go across these. Remember, straight lines, straight lines, straight lines, and where they meet. 4 times 5 equals 20. B says 2 times 6 2 times 6. Slide down the 2 times 6 is 12. Now, if you guys have your multiplication tables memorized from Miss Mackey from last year, boom, you don't have to use this table. You know C says 6 times 3. If you know that's 18, do it. If you don't, you get on the 6, you go down 3. Some kids like to count it instead of going like this. They say this, 1, 2, 3, 18. And D says 10 times 8. 10 times 8. Slide across, you get 80, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10 times 8 is 80. E says 6 times 7. I'm going to go ahead and write this for you. 6 times 7. You can slide if you like to slide. 6 and 7, 42. You can start at 6 and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to get 42. Or you have it memorized 42. And then the last one for today, we're going to do F is 8 times 9. Get on the 9, get on the 8, slide till you get to the 72. All right, guys, we got the multiplication table to help you multiply. We also learned the zero property. Any number times zero is zero. We got the identity property. Any number times one is itself. And we got the punitive property. It says flip it over, you get the same answer. I'm off to lunch. Have a great day.